All right, guys, we got a new part in from China, and this is a step down converter. It's basically to bring voltage in and to be able to step it down to a lower voltage or a lower current. Um, this one is especially cool because it has a little, it has an LCD there that will tell you the voltage and the, cur the current passing through as well as power, I believe. Um, and there's a voltage and current potentiometer here that you can use to, to limit that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to test it out quickly. So I'm not going to take too much time on this one. It's pretty straightforward, but I have my bench power supply leads here and I'm going to power those on. And on the inside, I'm going to connect positive and negative. And as you can see, power is on. Let me turn the lights off here for a second. So it powers on. I don't know if you guys can see that if the, what the refresh rate looks. Input side saying we have 20.4 volts and on the output side we have 18. So that's probably because the potentiometer is set somewhere uh, in that zone. I'm going, you see the light corresponds with the input side or output side. Input side 20 volts, output side 18. Turn down the voltage because I want to power this, this case fan I have. So we can only give this, you know, probably, I and mean, we can probably give it 20 volts, but there's, there's a, a chance when I blow it. So I want to bring the voltage down to somewhere about 12 volts, maybe 12 to 15 volts. So let's take our screwdriver here and let's adjust the voltage. So 20 volts in, 17 volts out, 16 volts out. I saw that 20 volts in. Let's bring it down, 15, 20 volts in, 14, sure, 14 volts should be fine. So now I'm going to connect some alligator clips on this side. Oh, the focus is getting all wonky here. Maybe I should put this in manual focus here. Give me one second. I think that should be good. I think that's good, right, guys? Yeah. So let's get the alligator clips and we're going to go positive to and negative. We have 20 volts. Oh, sorry, not in view here. We have 20. Oops, sorry, not in view again. We have 20 volts in. 20 volts in. Is that saying? 20 volts in. One volt out. That's weird. Maybe the current potentiometer is limited here. So let's, let's start turning that here. Oh, there we go. Something's happening. No, oh, nothing's happening. Oh. Shit. Just keep these wires away from each other. How's that? Oh, there we go. So we have 20 volts in, 12 volts out, 11 volts out. 20 volts in, 10, 11 volts out, and we have 0.13 amps. So let's turn the voltage up a little bit more here. So I'm just ramping that up. So I think we have a full 13.1 volts out. And now you can see that that went up substantially 20 volts in, 18 volts out, 0.23 amps. That's probably as high as I should push the fan here. So let's turn the voltage down. We should maybe screws a little bit big, bigger, but... Okay, I hear it spinning down, spinning down. Now you can see that we have 20 volts in. 11 volts out, turn it down even more. Now we have 20 volts in, 6 volts out, so that, that's, that's great, that works really well. Turn the voltage back up.
20.3 in, 20.7 out. And on the current side, we have 0.24. Yeah, so that, that fan's running a little bit faster than it should be. So there you have it. There's a couple lights here. Green, I think, is power. That is constant voltage. And I think if we turn down the constant current potentiometer, we see this red light up here. And that red light is a constant current limiter. So that's pretty much it guys. I don't know what else to show you here. This was, I think, how much did I pay for this? $7? Seems to do the job. Um, this would be good for using with uh, LEDs. Um, so you're not gonna be able to go more than five amps, so that's quite a bit already. Let me just check the page here. Oh yeah, five amp. That's pretty good. Uh, ordered it from AliExpress. See you guys.